What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So I just got back home last night went on vacation to Costa Rica with a few friends So three of us were celebrating our birthdays and we had a great time probably the best vacation I've ever been on in my life up to now and on the way back I remember I had posted one day um, this post that I saw from this girl on TikTok, and she was talking about women and what they bring to the table when men ask that question and a friend of mine responded and I was shocked by her response now she responded back and DM me and I'm gonna show that DM she might not like it but we're keeping her anonymous and you know supposedly there's other women that feel the way she does because she said that there was a few other women that she talked to that feel the same way she does so we just going we we don't know who this is we just gonna go ahead and, and read this off though but ladies i have to ask you because this is going to align with what this topic is today and i want y'all to comment down below if you saw on my community tab and on my instagram i put up two polls asking the same question do you view a man as being weak if he asks you the question what do you bring to the table majority of women said no I looked at the polls, I looked at who answered, versus men versus women, even though I said, if you're not a woman, don't answer this, there were still guys answering, but majority of women still said no. So I ask you guys, please comment down below, do you view a man as being weak? If he asks you a simple question, what do you bring to the table? So we're gonna have a very necessary discussion around this topic, um, have a different viewpoint, a couple of different viewpoints um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this right now. So this is the response that she gave me and there's a, another page to this as well, but check it out. This is how it starts. And this first part I actually agree with. She says, what people don't understand, particularly men about this bring to the table conversation is that it's not about what a woman brings to the table yes it is when you ask them the question it is about what they bring to the table a woman doesn't have to say it when you ask them they should say it but okay she says you will see in her actions in her words in her femininity what she brings and a man who is really a man already knows what having a woman in his life will do for him so he will be able to see and weed out very early in the dating stage the few things and more that i list above i didn't see what she talked about listed above i didn't see anything but the fact that a man would even part his lips to ask a woman what she brings to the table that he has to need that much help in whatever aspect he defines it as says more the man than it does the woman now i'm gonna go ahead and say something here this is how i feel this is how i feel when you are getting to date somebody, getting to know somebody, that question doesn't really have to come up. It's not that necessary. You may even consider it an inappropriate question because kind of like she said here, when you're getting to know somebody, you're going to find out what it is that that person really has to offer a relationship. You're going to be able to decipher that when you get to know them. You don't have to ask that question usually that question gets brought up more so in general conversation amongst a group of people or in this format that you're seeing right now that's more so when that topic comes up that i've seen i don't know too many people that actually ask someone that they're interested in what is it that you bring to the table or what is it that you feel you have to offer a relationship and i'm gonna get a little bit more into that later but let's continue this is the part that really took it over the edge for me she says it makes him look weak. It makes him look feminine. It comes off as, oh, you're basically implying that you are not a man who can provide and protect me. How is that? How is it that a man asking you a simple question makes him look weak, makes him look feminine? How does that imply that he cannot provide and protect you because he asks what it is that you bring to the table? No, we're not doing that. We're not gonna do that. As long as I got a platform, that's not gonna ever stand. Because what this looks like to me is that here is a woman that is getting very upset at men having the conversation about women. 
So just because a man is coming to his own and trying to figure out what it is that he wants from a partner and he asks a simple question, what do you have to offer a relationship? What do you bring to the table? Which is the exact same thing. Just because he asked that question, it makes him look weak, makes him look feminine. It comes off as you're not a provider. No, we're not about to let them pose that that way. That's not going to happen. Because when you break it down to its simplest form, both men and women for decades, for centuries, have had an idea of what it is that they want from a partner. You know, they might have a list of those things, right? Do you have a general idea of what you're looking for in someone? And so when they ask the question, what is it that you bring to the relationship? All there is that they're doing is they're trying to see if what it is that they're looking for aligns with who you are. That's all that is. Right? I decided that this is what I'm looking for. And when I ask the question, I'm trying to see if you align with what I'm looking for, right? So how is it that asking that simple question makes a man look weak, feminine, um, a non-provider? That makes no sense at all. That's the logic of some women, right? Some women. Because I've asked many of women that were like, huh? What? That makes no sense. So she continues with, it reeks 50-50. And that is what women are saying when they say this bring to the table conversation. It reeks 50-50. Let's go ahead and dive deeper into this whole 50-50 notion, right? So from hearing from this woman saying that this reeks 50-50 makes it seem as though she's looking for someone to provide or do most of the work. She doesn't want to be a 50-50 partner with her man in any kind of way. That if a man asks, what do you bring to the table? It reeks 50-50. Now, knowing her, I know that she wants a, she doesn't want a 50-50 relationship. She wants a man that provides. And knowing her, she's talking from a financial standpoint when it comes to this whole 50-50 notion. She wants the man to pay majority, if not all of the bills. Uh, the 50-50 that should be looked at in the positive sense will be the roles that are being played. Not the financial aspect of it, but the things that the woman does and the things that the man does, you, you count those as being two 50-50 things. And when you bring them together, then that's when you're whole. That's when you're 100%. Because me as a single man living on my own, even though I take care of everything myself, cook for myself, clean for myself, I'm still living a 50 lifestyle because I want a woman, not need, I want a woman, and she's going to provide things to my life that I cannot provide for myself. Why? Because I am not a woman. Simple as that. Just like a woman that want a man, he's gonna be able to provide things for her life that she can't do for herself. There's your 50-50, there's nothing wrong with that. Not a damn thing. So this is disappointing to see and hear from someone that I consider a friend. And then here's some contradiction for you. Not the fact that he's asking, but you are a man who can't see it. You have to ask ill. Your lace panties are showing, sir. It is the fact that he's asking. It's that's that's what the whole argument was is because he's asking. Not because he doesn't see it. That doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense because if he's asking this question, if a man is asking a woman what she brings to the table, typically he's asking that question before getting to really know her. He's asking that early on. We're talking first date, second date type of thing. He's not gonna ask her that question once he already knows what she can has to offer the relationship, huh? Because like I said before, it's not really a necessary question to ask when you're getting to know somebody. It's before you get to know them what a question like this really have any implication. But even then, you don't have to ask the question. But it shouldn't make a man look weak or feminine because he asked the question. After she dropped this post, I asked her, I was like, okay, 
So how if if that's how you and a few other females you know view men that ask that question, how should us men view women that ask us that question, the same question? She's like, I don't know, I'm not a man. Good answer, but but truth be told, no man is taking offense to that question. Really, that I know of. If anything, because there's two ways to ask the question. There's two ways to ask the question. If a woman asks a man, what do you bring to the table versus what do you have to offer me? That's a different thing. Now, a man may feel some type of way. If a woman asks me, what is it that you have to offer me? I'm going to look at her and think, oh, well, she's either looking for a come up or she's trying to see what she can get out of me. But if she asks me, what do you have to offer a relationship? That's a completely different question. Because the relationship, the table, is partnership. Remember what I said, though. This looks like a message that's coming from a woman that's looking for a man to do for her more than she is willing to do for him. Which I know is not the case with this individual because I've had those in-depth conversations with them. But that whole, ill your lace panties are showing thing. You know how Kevin Samuel says, put your up, put your up. That sounds like the version of that your lace panties are showing. Um, so she continues with, you don't see women asking men what they bring to the table. Yes, you do. It started with women asking that question. But like I said before, usually they say, what do you have to offer me? That conversation really started with women. She says, we see it sometimes even know it before we date the man. So what she's saying right there is we will know from dating the guy like like was implied earlier before. We will know from dating the guy what it is that he has to bring to the table or what it is that he has to offer relationship. But let's let's continue this. She says we see it in actions, the way he treats us, the way he take care of us. And if we do ask, look, this is the kicker right here. She says, if we do ask, it's because we're at a place where we like you. Watch this. But we're trying to see if long term you can provide for us. So basically, what she said right there is if I ask the man or if women ask the man the question, we're trying to find out long term if the man can provide for us. That would not be the right answer. And that right there, that statement right there is the reason why her and women like her don't like when men ask the question to women. And what she doesn't realize is that the answer that a man is looking for versus the answer that the woman is looking for is completely different. That right there says, what can you do for me? She said it came right out of her mouth or through her fingers. And if we do ask, it's because we're at a place where we like you, but we're trying to see if long term you can provide for us. Keyword, provide. She put it in bold letters. She says, if we ask that question, we're looking for you to provide. And then she follows with, want to be bad, which is so bad. That was irrelevant that has nothing to do with this conversation huh want to be bad what think about it if a man asks we're talking about what do you have to offer a relationship unity if a woman asks what can you provide for me that's the issue you guys that's the issue with women that think this way what do you have to provide for me she put it in bold letters and if she sees this video, she'll probably try to go back and try to clean it up and try to say something else. No, 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 no. We see, we see. But to some degree, one may think that this could hurt our friendship, but I wouldn't be the one to end the friendship because her thinking this way doesn't affect me because I'm not dating her. <laughs> it would affect, you know, more so the guys that she would deal with. She says, if we do ask, we're trying to find out long-term what can you provide for us? Keyword, provide. And that's not what it's supposed to be when you ask that question. What do you bring to the table? That right there implies, you know how women say, we are the table, we are the table? Not all, some. 
that gives me we are the table vibes she said you want to do 50 50 no this gives me we are the table vibes so like yesterday i was having a conversation with the young lady that i'm talking to now right and i mentioned to her um after having this discussion because i wanted to see where her head was on this whole notion of men being weak if they asked this question i brought up a conversation that her and i had a little while back where I asked her that question. And the only reason I asked her the question is because she watches my videos and we were already in that conversation, that topic, which she doesn't even remember. Like I talked to her last night, she don't even remember me asking her that question. I remember I asked her, I was like, so what is it that you feel you offer a relationship? Because like I said, we were already having that conversation off of one of my videos. And she ran off a few things that she feels she offers a relationship. And frankly, and I told her, <laughs> I don't remember a single thing you said. And that's okay because in getting to know her, I'm already finding out what it is that she has to offer. So even if I didn't ask that question, which like I said, it didn't even matter that I asked that question because for one, she doesn't remember me asking that question. And for two, I don't remember what she said. We're finding out and we're learning about each other. So that's a prime example of it not having to be asked when it comes to someone that you're getting to know. But it's still an issue to me that a simple question like that some women will view the man as being weak, feminine, and that his panties are showing for just simply asking what is an important question if it comes up. Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Y'all know what time it is. Like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Artie Kicks, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See you.